I never really thought of myself as someone who was capable of building a super great bridge. That is, until the brilliant puzzle game Poly Bridge came along and said, hey, maybe you're wrong not to explore such a dream. And in my exploration, I found that no, I was absolutely right the first time. I am bad at building bridges. Now Dry Cactus, the New Zealand studio behind the Indie Smash, is back with more haphazard bridge madness in Poly Bridge 2. Bridge 2 follows the footsteps of the previous game very closely. You build a bridge by placing different materials on a schematic, then run the simulation to see if your bridge can carry the vehicle to its destination. Get everyone where they're going and you've technically passed the level. But like all good puzzle games, what starts simple can become very complicated very quickly. There's a whole bunch of various vehicles which move and behave differently. Some will be slow and heavy or zippy and light. You'll need to keep this in mind while building, because the type of vehicle can change what's possible for you and your bridge. There's also planes and boats to avoid, and sometimes multiple target points to hit. You'll often need to be using hydraulics to move pieces around, too. Or at least you can use hydraulics. One of the great things about Polybridge is that you can use any solution you want, as long as it works. level has a budget and notes if you complete it under budget or without your bridge having any breaks. Building a bridge is easy, but building a sturdy bridge that's also under budget, sometimes it can seem impossible. This game is hard, but thankfully Poly Bridge 2 has a bunch of new features to help you along. The game now highlights where the first break in your bridge is to help you know what needs attention. Springs have also been added to give you some extra bouncy fun. Like hydraulics, springs are basically an extra thing that I personally don't know how to predict or use properly. But giving it a red hot go is half the fun. Progressively deleting more and more parts of your bridge to try and make it cheaper is the second half of the fun. Until the whole thing comes crashing down. But if everything is going to fall apart, at least it looks very good doing so. While the build screen is fairly basic, the simulation is all style. This game looks gorgeous. It keeps all the charm of the first poly bridge while adding an extra bit of flair. I'm so glad they kept that look because it's beautiful. And to me, it's a really important part of my connection to the game. So is the music. Poly bridge has possibly my favorite game soundtrack ever. It's so soothing and friendly, which suits the game really well, because there's a strong community behind it. There are so many potential solutions to the same problem. And once you complete a level, you can see your spot on the leaderboard, as well as a gallery of replays other players have uploaded. Here you can see all sorts of wild and wacky approaches to bridge building. I love seeing things I never would have even thought of. People are mind-blowingly creative. I mean, just look at this solution I found online. I like this game so much. I love how silly you can be and how it gives you a puzzle with an open-ended solution. That can be a really, really tricky thing to do in a game while still making it challenging and interesting. But Polybridge 2 does it all and does it in style. I'm giving it five out of five rubber chickens. <laughs>